Hi Cancer, welcome to your February love reading. I am Gypsy from Gypsy Healing Company and I am here with the five card spread. Thank you so much for subscribing and liking the video. It really helps the message get out there. So the top row will represent you as a Cancer and the bottom row will represent the person that you are connecting with. Sometimes the energy flip-flops, so if you relate more to the bottom row, go ahead and go with that. If you find that this message does not resonate, please reach out for a personal reading as, you know, the energy of love can be very individualistic, so we can get a lot deeper if you contact me for a personal reading. Um, however, you can also check out your rising and your moon sign to get um, a better idea of what's going on if this particular video does not resonate. At the end, we'll be reading one Angels and Ancestors Oracle card to kind of wrap it all up. All right. Oh, and as always, be sure to let me know what you think in the comment section below. All right, Cancer, so your theme for the month of February in relationships is the sun. You are feeling a little more optimistic about the, the path that you have going on for yourself, perhaps a little more vulnerable as well. Um, if you are connecting with a Leo, this is their card, uh, and they're showing up pretty prominently here. So... Perhaps a sunnier outlook, a more hopeful or optimistic outlook for you during the month of February. The person you're connecting with has a focus on partnership as well. They're definitely thinking about you and the relationship that you have together. And they're looking and examining closely the ways you two are relating with each other. With these two cards together, so far it looks pretty positive. Uh, but the next placement we're going to is the challenge. So while this is the theme between you two, the overarching energy, what could possibly get in the way? And that is the Seven of Swords. Make sure, Cancer, that you are being open and honest with your communication and your thoughts. Um, and make sure your actions align with that because the challenge this month for you is kind of telling the truth and being open just like i was mentioning and being honest um, this also could represent the person you're connecting with perhaps you're feeling like communication with them is challenged or that they're not telling you the all there is to know um, so this energy definitely works on both ends so be aware that you are expressing yourself truthfully and be aware also that there's a tendency tendency this month um, for the people you're connecting with to do the same thing. So um, if this is also about looking back in the past, I mean, that that's what this could represent as well, looking back to the past and kind of dwelling there. Um, but somebody is trying to get over on somebody here okay? or might have the tendency to try. So this month, be honest with yourself and your partner and um, encourage your partner to do the same thing. If this is about the past, perhaps there's some communication that needs to be had so that you guys can move forward instead of looking, looking back. The challenge for your partner is the Two of Pentacles. They have a lot of stuff that they're balancing here and a, a lot of it is turned monotonous. Perhaps in some ways, they're looking at the relationship as something to go back and forth about. Maybe it's related here to what's happened in the past or not feeling like um, the truth is being told. So they're going back and forth about you and the relationship here. Just um, This could also represent cycles that you guys go through or have been putting yourself through with this individual. Um, if you notice, the shape here is the infinity sign. So this could represent an issue or a pattern, a dramatic cycle, a karmic cycle that you guys keep sort of repeating. Perhaps it's related to the idea of lies and truth, and maybe that's sort of your your roller coaster here. I mean, if even if you look in the back, 
of the picture. It's like the ups and the downs and the ups and the downs. So the challenge this month could be the same old, same old in terms of, you know, lying versus telling the truth, keeping things to yourself, being emotionally manipulative. So if we're looking at, at the challenge as a way to if we're looking for ways to make the challenge less challenging, be sure this month that you are honest in your dealings with others um, and that you're communicating things that are truthful, especially if you want to overcome this, this pattern that you guys look like you've been in or that you've experienced before, perhaps with another individual, if you've not... Um, experience with the experience sorry this with them currently this could be a pattern that you're used to within your relationships so it might behoove you to choose to move in a different way that of course is entirely up to you the unexpected this month we have the ten of swords so just like I was saying, it's an unexpected ending, an unexpected ending regarding the way that you communicate with others, the thought patterns that you have. Um, and this card could also represent being stabbed in the back. So this month, be cognizant of the person you're connecting with and if they're being truthful with you as well, okay? Because for some of you, you could find out this month unexpectedly that someone has hurt you, stabbed you in the back, done, done something that was explicitly against your wishes or against your agreement with this individual. For others, it won't be as extreme, and this is more so about reaching a breaking point in terms of your, your thought patterns and your communication style. So you might discover this month that, you know, you're done doing these things. And this is what this could represent. You know, I'm done with the ups and downs, the roller coaster ride. I want things to be smooth. So I'm going to take the action, you know, to make sure that I'm not exhibiting this this month anymore. Okay, so this is reaching the end of something. Could be the end of a relationship being stabbed in the back, or it could simply mean that you're deciding to do things differently this time around. Your person has very similar energy. So if you're connecting with a Scorpio, this is their card. Um, this card is about rebirth and transformation. Again, about doing things differently. So if you stay with this person and there's no relationship change in terms of relationship status, there is definitely going to be a change within your relationship and the way that you guys relate to each other. With the full moon and eclipse that we had, a lot of people are experiencing endings and new beginnings, and your person is experiencing this to the utmost degree. The death card is major arcana, which means that this is a major lesson for them, letting go of the old and stepping into the new. The Ten of Swords um, mirrors this energy, but not as intensely as the death card. So if you find that your partner is more irritable or acting a lot different it's because they're integrating this energy here a lot is changing in their life and in their personality even lots of lessons being learned all right so your advice this month is to set your sights higher to look to the future and what it is that you would like to create for yourself there Again, once you decide to let these patterns go, what are you going to replace your um, your vessel with? What are you going to allow into your life? This individual here, um, he's not thinking about the past or the present, but into the future. 
Wands are representative of passion, creativity, um, new beginnings, fresh starts, like all of that. So since you've experienced some sort of ending with this person, where now do you want to take the relationship? Are you going to take it solo? You're going to move away from this relationship physically? Or are you going to go together with this new frame of mind? Whatever it is, it's time now to, to begin planning your next moves and who gets to go with you. For your person, the advice is the Hierophant. So if you're connecting with the Taurus, this is their card. This card represents tradition and ritual and riches and the next level. So for some of you, you are deciding to do just that, to take your relationship to the next level, to leave the games behind, to leave the past in the past, and to propose, get married, um, have a family while others of you will be denying entrance of the other person into your heart, right? These guys are asking the Hierophant for, for knowledge, advice, for um, permission to move beyond those pillars. And for some of you, you will allow people in and for others you'll say no these doors are closed you don't meet the proper requirements it will all depend on this death this transformation that the person experiences here definitely the outcome the magician this is letting you know that you can this could be whatever you would like for it to be you get to decide. You're in control of your decisions with this individual. Um, you have everything you need. You have all of the suits of the tarot on your table. You could make this relationship into something beautiful, or you can end it and leave it and move forward. That is all up to you. You also have the power of your words. And this is a reminder to use your words properly, to be honest again. This card is sometimes referred to as the liar card because the magician can make anything up, right? He has the power to make anything physical up, but he has the same power with his words. So I would advise you to be truthful, especially if you are trying to manifest something that is different than what you've always gotten. Um, shy away from using emotional manipulation. I know you guys have a flair for that from time to time as water signs, but really be impeccable with your word. And your person is being told a similar message that the angels are behind the scenes. They got the, the cups pouring together, echoing again the two cups here. So angels are behind the scenes putting work in when it comes to the your relationship with this person. When it comes to the healing that is necessary, the change, the growth that is necessary, there are pieces being put together behind the scenes that will allow you, if you choose to, will allow you to strengthen your relationship or allow you to learn the lessons you needed to learn and to move forward from it. So your person in very much the same way is experiencing the universe and and having to flow with it. The last three cards of your person's reading our major arcana these are huge lessons that the person you're connecting with is going through major things that they're learning you have two major arcana as well so your focus in the relationship is is on like being seen being honored and knowing your worth and your power and this person is transforming the way that they are relating and thinking and feeling toward you. Um, setting higher expectations and goals and 
things of the like, and uh, having to have the faith to allow the universe to, to do it all. So you guys are both experiencing a lot of change. Um, and it will depend relationship to relationship whether or not you both can um, weather that change together. I feel like you'll know, especially um, as you choose to be truthful with yourself as much as with others. Okay, let's see your angels and ancestors card. Yes, Elder it says move beyond ancestral patterns. So again, that pattern way of going about relationship, let's move beyond it. The things that you've always done and the way that you've always related and um, treated your partners and yourself within your relationships. Perhaps if you are used to lying or used to cheating or used to emotional manipulation, let all of that go. Move beyond these patterns. These um, It has the mention of ancestral patterns as well. So, you know, patterns within your family even that you've learned, patterns of abuse, patterns of, you know, just the things you've learned about relationships from your family. It's not necessarily going to benefit you at this time. Find your own way, the way that is that speaks to you most authentically. Learn the lessons so that you don't have to keep walking in these circles and going on in these same patterns. And I think a lot of you are ready for that. You're ready to move on. You're ready to move forward. You're ready for something better in your relationships than what has always been. All right, Cancer, let me know again in the comments down below what you think. Please subscribe. I would love it so much if you would. And I will see you in another video. Bye.